Hello all, I am here to introduce you about intelligent agents in AI. So before going to start, what is intelligent AI and how it works and what are the types of this. So basically this is the contents that I am going to discuss in my lecture here. That is the introduction, first of all a quick view about AI, then the introduction to the AI agents, then the categories or some kinds of AI agents we are having, then certain rules should be there to present that AI. Then lastly, I am covering in detail the types of agents with the help of examples. So the quick view about intelligent agent, intelligence. Artificial intelligence is made up of two words that is artificial as well as intelligence. Artificial means that is man-made and intelligence means the thinking power. So that is a man-made thinking power which basically means that we are embedding a intelligence in kind of a machine so that it will able to work as a human is doing as well as it is adapting the ability of thinking of a human into a machine. So it is necessary if I am embedding a machine for this thing intelligence, I have to train that machine accordingly. So basic definition of AI is it is a branch of computer science by which we can create intelligent machine and which can behave like a human, think like a human and will be able to make decisions. In the previous time or in the past time, it is known as a mechanical man that is used to do the human work. But nowadays, this mechanical man term is being replaced by kind of AI agents, some kind of firm, some kind of hardware, some kind of software. It is depending upon the time and it is being modified according to the time as well. Then the thing is, what is AI agent? So basically, it's a kind of rational agent that I am discussing here. This rational agent in a machine can be take the form of any person, any firm, machine, software that I have told you already that is basically used to make decision. In that AI system, the agent must have an environment as it is depicting in the picture that there is an agent. This agent could be a machine agent, could be a human agent. If I am a human, so basically I can say as a human, I have an environment that I am surrounded with all these things, people surrounding with trees surrounding the decks but in a machine in a machine that agent is being surrounded by some machine that environment for that machine is known as the environment for that machine this environment is having two factors that is actuators as well as the sensors the sensors is basically used in the agent to sense the environment or to perceive the information or the knowledge from the environment and actuators are the one that will make him understand what he have perceived and what he want to reflect back to the environment. So basically this is a to and fro motion in this. If I am talking about a machine, if I am talking about a machine, uh, in that case system uh, sensors will be like your cameras, your fingerprints, etc. In actuators, they will be like your fingerprint is being recognized, your sensors is uh, sensing that infrared rays and the motor is working with the help of that. In case of human, it's uh, an easy example. If a human is having something, that means human is watching or perceiving something from an environment. So basically the sensors, sensors will be the five sense of organ in which the human is sensing the things from the environment. And in back of that, with the help of mouth, with the help of hand, with the help of feet, I'm going to do whatever I want to do in the environment back. That means I am corresponding, giving some actions to the sensing or the knowledge which I am having over here. So this is basically this picture which is depicting this thing. Then this is again the sensor, the device that detects and change the environment and sends the information to the electronic devices. Actuators are the one or the components that converts energy into motion that I have told you that actuators are basically the actions that we are doing. It is responsible for moving and controlling the system as well. Effectors are the one that devices that affect the environment. That can be legs, that can be wheels, that can be arms, fingers, wings, fins in the case of fish, display the screens and whatsoever I want to do is done with the help of effectors or making effect in the environment. Then I have already told you that agent could be of any kind that could be human agent, that could be a robotic agent, that could be a software agent. Human agent with it having some sensory organs such as eyes, ears, nose, tongues and skins parallelly to the sensors. 
as well as if I am talking about robotic agent, which I am going to discuss over here, that replaces in uh, that thing sense form in the form of cameras, infrared rays, finders, and various motors and actuators are working in the place of effectors as well. In case of software agent, some kind of bit strings or programs are sensory to it and it can uh, making some key stocks or file content or the packet receives could be a uh, sensors to it and the packet we are sending could act as an actuator for a software agent. Now, AI agent is also known as it is a mixture of some kind of architecture or as well as for the agent program as well. Now, our architecture is basically you can say is a machinery in which agent execute its uh, working. It is a device with some kind of sensors, it is some kinds of actuators, for example, a robotic car, a camera, a PC. A agent program is somewhat the combination of all these things. That means an architecture and the agent program. Now, that agent program is having some agent function. That agent function is a concept that basically maps from sequence. The last sequence is being used and the implementation is being implemented in various forms which direction we have to lead to so architecture is basically that machinery on which we are working and agent program is that implementation with the help of obviously some kind of language that we are going to do that thing in case of human ears eyes and other organs will be a sensor for him and hands feet and mouth other body parts act, act as an actuator for it now here if this is an agent if any uh, agent could be there like human agent it could, it could be a uh, software agent, it could be a robotic agent. In any of the agent, all that agent is having or it perceiving some abilities. It These abilities in the case of human could be hereditary. But in case of a robotic agent, it could be coming from some perception from the environment as well. Then there sh should be some goals or preferences will be here. Then it having some prayer knowledge to that and accordingly it will acting to the environment and from the environment it, it is observing something that observation could be having some kind of past experiences or some kind of previous knowledge or some kind of programmed or trained information which is being embedded into the train system then this is a simple rule for ai agent if you are creating an agent so it has the ability to perceive into the environment second rule it should make decision it should the result which is taking here yeah, which uh, decision that it is taking should giving some action to it and the action taken by the ai agent must be rational action as well these are the basic characteristics of the ai agent that it should be situated autonomy adaptability sociability and design consideration these are the normal factors that that i'm going to discuss when i am talking about the types of agent as well so i'm not taking it here so these are the types of agent basically that the main focus of the lecture is over this. The first one is simplex reflex X agent. The simplex reflex agent is basically work on the principle of reflex. Reflex is basically a spontaneous action or a current or immediate action which I am going to deliver or going to perform when I watch some situation. So basically it ignore all the rest of the concept history it only based on the current concept it only works on the spontaneous action of the current situation which i am going to tackle over here so there there is no need to have some uh, prior information or prior knowledge for that thing but i have to work on the current scenario so this function is based on the condition action rule a condition action rule is the rule that maps a state that a condition to a action if the condition is true the action is taken otherwise it is not taken this agent function succeed only when the environment is fully observable. Now, I'm going to discuss with the help of picture. This is an agent. This is an environment. You are perceiving something and action is correspondingly taken. Now, what this agent is doing over here with the help of sensors, it is sensing. Here's the world is what we, the world is like now. That means what is the current situation that I am dealing with then after having that situation what action should i do now then that thing is based on some condition that condition is being satisfied then only that action will be taken otherwise it is not going to take an action for example if there is a uh, ac in the room if there is an ac in a room 
and it is trained to give a performance that the ac will be switched on if the temperature is going uh, more than 45 degree so every time when a uh, ac is being sensing the temperature of the room is going uh, above 45 45 or above 45 then every time it is going to switch on the ac the simple thing is if the condition is satisfied then the machine or the agent is going to perform this function the thing is this but there is a case or there are certain possibilities or you can say that there are some problems that are with uh, with simplex reflex agent that will be limited intelligence there is no knowledge of non perceptual part of the state it is usually too large to generate and store as well if a change occurs in the environment the rule collection needs to be updated this is all about if i am saying uh, i am talking about that ac example so if suppose certainly if there are no person in the room okay if there is no person in the room still the ac is sensing that temperature is going high then it will definitely going to switch the ac but there is a wastage of energy that i am wasting energy if no person is there in the room and i am switching off the ac switching on the ac then in that case it is creating a mess for me this is the first thing then certainly if that room is having some aged people in that so aged people don't need that they, the ac should be switched on so regular as the young ones are needed so they don't want that the temperature will be uh, the ac temperature will be raised or ac will be on if the temperature reaches that this much value but still because our agent is being trained like this way so it will definitely going to change and this will definitely going to switch on the ac so here there is a problem that it is having some limited intelligence because ultimately that is a agent that is a machine that is being trained and it have to perform the function that means if the condition will be true then it will going to definitely going to perform that action so it is there is no possibility that it will take some prior knowledge so there is a need yeah there is a high time yeah high rise that this machine this agent needs to be updated that means it had this model the simplex reflex model should be converted into some kind of model based agent or model based action should be taken or you can also say that this simplex agent must be embedded or some additional agents being added or multiple agents will be work with it so that it will work successfully and no loop poles will be detected as well some other examples will be like vacuum clean agent it will detect the dirt and all and if it detect the dirt it will work some games like chess tic tac toe so these are basically the agent that is working on the current situation or the current situation is being watched every time it perceives information from the current environment and it will work accordingly if the condition again is true then it will do the same it will not have any emotions it will don't have any perceptions it will not have any prior information whether it have to do in this condition also but it will perform definitely then the second model that is the updated version of the simplex reflex agent is the model based agent this is extension to the simplex reflex agent this is working on uh, this basically agent reflex work on the searching rule where the position matches the current state that simply means that first of all before working with anything yeah before working on any of the conditions first of all i'm going to match my situation where was my current situation and where i have to go so i'll reach out to that model which uh, is near about my proximity level so this is a searching area or rule where whose position matches the current state so model based agent can handle the partially observable environment in the first uh, example which i am talking about the reflex agent here the word is fully observable fully observable is basically says when the state of an environment is fully known to a system that means if i have taken example of ac that at that time ac is having the environment state at its consideration that means it knows the boundaries dimensions of the room it knows the belongings or the material that is being uh, kept into the room number of people in the room number of situations curtains and tables and water pots everything it is observable to the ac so in that case i it is said that the environment is fully observable but it only works only works when it the environment is fully observable 
but it fails to work when the environment is partially observable because it is not every time feasible for any agent or even for humans also that we are aware of all the situation a very best example that if i am driving a car i am driving i know that this is my car i know my speed i know my acceleration i know the steering i know everything about my car this is fully observable environment for my car and for me as well but certainly i am not aware of what the people are from outside are doing that means if how many number of cars are surrounded by me or what will be the speed of other car that are surrounded by me if it is a road obviously there will be a pedestrian crossing so if anybody crosses my car then what i am going to do is not in in control of my so this case i am saying that environment is partially observable so here the simplex reflex agent totally fails when the environment is partially observable so there is a high need to convert this uh, agent into model based agent which is is model based agent that is updating the state required information that means it is updating all the information that is being required in this this portion is being additionally added although what the situation your current situation is there this is in the last environment also last agent also what action is going to perform it is also there in the last agent what actions are being taken what conditions are being implemented or embedded is also available in the last one but here what is added is the state this state is basically where i am going to have it that means now i am adding some previous knowledge or some previous perception that needs to be updated so this previous perception and how that previous perception work according to that situation so i'll taking that knowledge also then again i am rectifying my actions what i could do then this thing is being again reflected back in the current situation so now that current situation is being updated and that's what this is saying that this is updating of this thing then i'm saying then this thing is being embedded in the current situation and then it will accordingly working so this is all about model based agent the, uh, the example for this could be self driving car google has uh, introduced a wyoming car that is a driverless car and that is already there in usa like it is used to detect uh, the sensors sensors is having almost driving experience that it is driving with this much distance so this is basically a model based reflex agent which is able to understand this is able to perceive information from the environment as well so being despite of being it is a driverless car but still it senses the environment and it is working according to it that means if a person is being crossing then it will put a brake over it also then how many uh, what will be the speed of the parallelly running car then it will manage its speed accordingly so that means this is a trained model based agent that is working or implemented otherwise then the third one will be the goal based agent now here this model or the previous information is being replaced by a, by a word that is a goal that means this this previous information is being replaced by goal all the things that remain same the the world the previous knowledge the previous action that i am going and that action are doing then this state is having that goal so basically the goal based agent is able to make the decision how far they are currently from their goals basically i have to decide that if i am going to reach at that destination then i have to plan my decision i have to plan my path according to my goal so here the focus is not only to the thing that i am referring in the previous agent but here i am referring or my priority is given to the goals that i have to reach to that goals for that goal for reaching that goal it is not mandatory that i'll always follow some finite number of steps or some infinite number of steps that is not the problem with that but it has to reach to that car for example uh, a very common example that is a china based company that is alibaba that has launched a g plus uh, robots that g plus uh, robots is basically trained to pack the packets and those packets and build are being delivered to the customer at their addresses so they are being properly trained or being trained for packing all these uh, accessories what the customer is needed and they'll pack in into it carton and then they will deliver that cartons or packets 
to the customer address as well so that, that is basically they are achieving their goals that means they are having some kind of previous knowledge that means there are some previous knowledge and the environment from which they are perceiving something that means the original current situation of the environment the previous knowledge then whatsoever they are doing is reflecting here but but they are also focusing on the goal because ultimately they have to reach to that goal that they have to deliver the packet so the, this goal is being added and this is how this is being reflected back and the action is being taken back with the you know, on the environment as well so this is kind of a goal based agent the example is again google driverless car and alibaba g plus mobile is the bestest example of this thing now the thing is utility based agent the thing difference between the goal and the utility is while achieving the goal it is not certain the uh, utility of the thing is being achieved or not here the utility function is basically representing the state of a agent if i am a human i can say i am doing this thing so i can be happy i can be sad okay but in the case of human agent if in, in case of robotic agent you can say the happiness of that agent is also mandatory because if i am saying ki alibaba g plus robot is delivering the packet to the customer end that is okay that is uh, that is optimized result that it is delivering the packet that means goal is being achieved but the thing is that the thing is not ended over here the thing is the question is whether the customer is happy with that delivery or not the delivery is being safe or not either they received some damage part or there needs uh, there need to be some improvisation of the packet delivered by the robot or not so that means the feedback the emotion the happiness content is not mattered in this previous concept here agent but in the utility based agent that is basically developed uh, by the end user as a building block which is based on the happiness of the agent the word happiness here matters a lot for thing that, that thing that means here the sensors taking the environment what is having in the environment at this time, current position then what action will it have to do but it will correspondingly take the previous information or prior knowledge of all these thing all these thing will get embedded in the action and action will be reflect accordingly according to the current situation according to the previous knowledge but the thing is utility now it is focusing not only on the goal but it is focusing on the utility of the factor also that means how happy i will be in such a state that means if i am if i am not happy then there is a no way or no possibility that i should perform this task further so here the path will be modified according to the situation of a agent state and then the action will be performed and the actuator will reflect back that action into the environment that means for a normal example if a thermostat is there a thermostat is say, uh, saying is used basically used for heating or cooling of the house so basically it is uh, used to heat up or cooling up the house based uh, on the reaching or reaching it on a certain temperature if the temperature is reached that means the person is not happy with the temperature if there is huge heat yeah huge uh, you can say that uh, that uh, uh, environment is very hot outside so that means it will sense it will basically sense that the person is needed a temperature uh, ac in that so it will change accordingly its mode to the ac mode if the uh, environment or the uh, weather is cold outside it will change accordingly and it will turn on a heater for a customer that means the customer happiness is the first factor secondly if i am taking an example of a gps the gps is used to track the path it is used to track the path to the shortest minimum path so after that gps or route is being followed the second uh, consideration is that he either the customer is happy with that or not so that factor leads to the utility of that agent lastly as a learning agent learning agent is basically example of a human agent basically what humans are do is what the learning agent will do that means it will learn it is a type of agent that can learn from the past experiences or the learning capabilities it start to act with the basic knowledge and act accordingly and adapt automatically with the environment basically 
this picture shows everything about it that the major factors is critic learning element and problem generator and performance element that means if a human is there it is having some critic it it is having some kind of feedback then again it is learning something out of which it will derive some kind of knowledge and accordingly it will change its performance and the knowledge is being added in the learning factor of the environment and finally learning goals have to be achieved with the help of problem generator and finally new experience new experience can be done and finally how the action is being done again on the environment as well the basic example for learning agent is human i have told you that means if a human is there so everything in a human is not derived by its heredity something it wants to learn is done by a ride suppose an example i'm taking that it will uh, want to learn a bicycle riding so this ability is to be trained by that time when the uh, when human is being raised so accordingly this will learn the ability so this is an example of uh, learning agent so this is basically the types of agent that we have learned here that's all for that thank you